Have you been happy? I'm happier than happy could be. Two million dollars. I invested two million dollars in that business, in that building. What's up, gentlemen? So today I want to talk a little bit about money, more specifically mine, in terms of investing. Now, the truth is that talking about money, I have always sort of like shied away from it a little bit. And the reason when I'm honest with myself, it's because I worry that you're going to have a different opinion of me or feel like, oh, Alpha doesn't get it because he's successful. You know, the truth is that I have not always been successful. I grew up, you know, poor. And one of the downsides of growing up poor is that you don't have people around you that understand money. And if you ever expect to be financially free, you better educate your ass on money. You also better start investing early. And this is something that I didn't do. I didn't have any financial role models, nobody that I could go to and ask questions. And unfortunately, you know, this has caused me to make some really bad financial decisions and mistakes. Now, the good news is that today we have the internet, right? And a lot of financial information is out there for free. But today I thought I'd just share my experience with this salon, this investment. Maybe there's a nugget of information that you can gather even if it makes me uncomfortable talking about money. Every morning when I get up, you know what I say to myself? Every day, I look at myself in the mirror and I say, don't it up today. That is my daily mantra because I know where I've come from. I also know that a lot of us are like one or two really bad decisions away from being broke and bankrupt. I know because I've been there. And so today I want to talk about that, that salon. Salon poster. The way that it works, I am the one that bought the building. I also covered all of the renovation costs. I also bought all of the equipment in the facility. So essentially, I built a salon. The amount of money I spent on everything, all in, like including like renovations, lead remediation, designers, design fees, contractor fees, was $2 million. Now you're like, yo, did you finance it? Did you get a loan? I paid cash. Now, if you're saying, yo, that's so stupid, why would you take all of that cash and tie it up in an asset? And I'm going to answer that question later uh, because you're absolutely right. Um, everybody that is financially literate will say the worst thing you can do in terms of you know, long-term investment is tie up a bunch of money in an asset like real estate. All right, You should basically leverage other people's money with interest rates as low as they are. The markets are going crazy high. You should basically take that money, invest it there, and you're going to make a better return. Well, the way that we structured things, all right, I own the building and then we set up another company, all right? The other company is Salon Posta, which is owned by Steven, my buddy Tony, and myself. All three of us own equity. And then the salon pays the landlord, me, rent every month. And that $2 million, I am making an annual return of 6%. And that honestly, that's a pretty solid return. It's also consistent. It's not going to fluctuate on the market. Now, the downside is that I'm not going to see all of the upside of the market. If I were to take that $2 million or even a million of it and invest it somewhere else, I would probably at this point be making more money on that money. But the truth is, is that I've got other money diversified. And that is the first thing I need to tell you. If you ever want to be successful and you ever want to make sure that you grow your wealth, you need to be diversified. One of the worst things that you can do is have all of your money, all of your eggs in one financial basket, because if that drops, then you're totally effed. It's critical that you have multiple investments. All right. Now, the other question you may be asking yourself, well, Alpha, I don't have $2 million. I don't have a million. I have a little bit of money. What should I do? What I would recommend each and every one of you do is to set up a Wealthfront account. Wealthfront is today's video sponsor. And if you've got $500, you can get started today. Because when it comes to investing, there are decades and decades of data that show that investing in globally diversified low cost index funds is one of the best ways to put your savings to work. Low index globally, what exactly, right? That's one of the problems and one of the reasons why I never invested. I didn't understand it. When I would start to think about it, my brain would hurt. Well, that's the beautiful thing with Wealthfront. They not only make investing totally accessible, they make it affordable and easy. All you need to set up an account is a few minutes and $500. You set it up and then Wealthfront, they take care of the rest. The other reason why you're going to love Wealthfront is that it is affordable. And when I mean affordable, I'm talking about their annual management fee. It is with Wealthfront, little tiny bitty. It is point two five percent I am so jealous of you in terms of financial potential you know when I was growing up I didn't have a badass platform like Wealthfront right which means I missed out on all sorts of potential upside guys you have the opportunity right now to get started today if I knew at your age what I know now I would be like I would be so much more killing it than I am right now 
But the fact is, I didn't have the education. I also didn't have Alpha M talking about, yo, hit the link down below and go sign up with Wealthfront. Start today. Start investing in your future today. That extra like 500 bucks that you got sitting around in some savings or checking account earning like 0.0000000.0.2% interest. Gentlemen, put it to work so someday you will have and develop financial freedom. That should be the goal. Is hitting that link down below. That link is special. Invest dot wealthfront dot com slash alpha m if you go through our special link set up an account you are going to get the first five thousand dollars that you invest managed for free for the lifetime of your lifetime diversification say it with me diversification one of the ways that i have diversified is by investing in this building all right not only is it giving me passive income right i'm getting like six percent passive income per year on this money it's also allowed me to start this other business the other reality guys is that debt scares me it scares the crap out of me you know after you go through like a bankruptcy I decided at that point I would never have debt again. For me, it makes me feel better not having debt. Even though I may not necessarily be making as much as I could investing it somewhere else, I sleep better at not, night not having debt. I don't have to worry like, hey, if we have to shut down, if whatever happens, I don't have this like big mortgage that I gotta pay for. I'm cool, I can just kinda chill. You know, the other reality is that I could always refinance. If I needed that cash for something else, I could take it out. Um, and so for me, that was a better decision as opposed to, you know, financing it. The other thing that it did, and the main reason I did this, is that it allowed me and it allowed us to start this other business or entity in Salon Posta. And salons, just so you know, they can do incredibly well, depending on the clientele. Now, I'm not talking about a barber shop. You know, one of the things that you guys see a lot on YouTube is all these like barbers and cuts. Barbers, great business for like one person, but in terms of building wealth and building a business that's like kicking off like millions and millions and millions of dollars a year, probably not the direction. And the reason is because you can only charge as a dude so much for a haircut. But when you cater to a female demographic, like it goes up. Our average ticket sale for each person that we have that comes into Salon Posta is $135 to $150. That's average, but guess what? It goes up depending on what other service they're getting. So if they're getting like a few different colors, it goes up. If they're getting extensions, it goes like way up. If they're getting waxing and all other like services, that average fee goes up. And the beautiful thing is that the majority of the cost associated is just labor. So currently, Salon Posta has 23 employees. We've got 13 stylists, and then we've got you know managers, we've got assistants, and there is a ton of room for growth. Um, all of the stylists are not like maxed out in terms of you know being completely booked. I'd say half of them are, but we have the room for 28 stylists. And when you do the math, you know 28 stylists, each person can possibly do you know 10, 11, 12, 13 clients a day at 135 to like say call it like 200, 250 dollars. Like there's a big range in terms of services. Like it can add up. You know the other main reason though that I decided to do this was because I believe in Steven. I believe in his ability, I believe in his skill, I believe in you know him just as a person, and I'm rooting for him. And so the fact that I can be a part of what he is doing, I can be a part of his story, and he's going to allow me to come along for the ride, I think it's amazing. You know, I've known Steven for a really long time. You know, he's gone through different you know, situations. He's been sick, he's been better, he's been sick. You know, and, and at this stage in, in my life, I just wanna, I just wanna help. You know, I want to help people. I want to use, you know, the fact that I have been successful to change other people's lives. And, and this is a way that selfishly I'm helping him change his and hopefully, hopefully make some money. I'm not just like Mother Teresa being like, yo, here's two million bucks. But anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit about, about investing. I wanted to talk about this business, why I'm doing it, why I hope it's going to be successful and why I'm willing to take the risk. The other thing and takeaway I'd like to like to leave you with. I believe in myself and I think that's the takeaway. You've got to believe in yourself. If you expect to ever be successful, if you ever expect to be an entrepreneur or just kick ass at life, you better believe in yourself and you've got to be willing to invest in yourself and that's something that that I am comfortable doing. And so, you know, is it risky? Yes. Is it a gamble? Yes. May I lose money? Absolutely. Could I sell the business or could I sell the, the building? I could. 
you know, but hopefully I don't have to do that. But if I do, I do. You know, nothing great was ever accomplished because it was easy. You got to risk things, gentlemen. You got to try. You've got to be willing to be uncomfortable. Does this business make me uncomfortable? Does it make me uncomfortable that I had to invest $2 million and then I don't know technically how it's going to, how it's going to unfold? The answer is yes. But am I comfortable in the fact that I, that I feel good about it? Absolutely. Fine. You want, you want the real reason? You want the real reason I decided to invest this money? Was so that I would have access to a ton of spicy ass senoritas for videos for content for you. Also, free haircuts. All those free haircuts though, they cost me literally like two million bucks. And honestly, I got to get one now, like nine minutes from now. So you want to you wanna come and you want to come, you want to come watch me get my haircut? Gentlemen, let's go. What's up, Jordan? Hi. Hello. All right, Brittany, how's it been going? It's been great. Yeah? So busy. So busy? Yeah. Oh, here we go. All right. So have you been happy with business? Yeah, business, is a, business has been great. It's actually a lot busier than we thought it was going to be. A lot of new clients, probably, up, probably about 20% of our clients are all new for our first like eight weeks open up, which is really, really good. A lot of great feedback on the salon, the location. Have you been happy? I'm happier than happy could be. Okay. Okay, hello. <laughs> Laura hates me. <laughs> Thank you. Can you get Aaron a dry towel? Alright gentlemen, now it's time to style. Little sea salt spray. Little putty. Not that much. Emulsify. And dry. Finish it up, little PC separation action. And that is a wrap. Gentlemen, if you dug this video, drop me one of these to be like, yo Alpha, thanks for talking about money a little bit. If you want more videos where we talk a little bit more about like investments, investment strategies, and just money tips, guys, let me know down in the comments. Be like, yo Alpha, that would be cool. Because honestly, I feel like educating yourself about money is the first step in financial freedom. The goal ultimately should be F you money, gentlemen. See you tomorrow, bye.